Not many people have been inside Lumsden Gymnasium on the campus of Damon College, and if you're one of those people, I suggest you get there soon. Men's basketball coach Don Silveri is one of the best Western New York has ever seen, and his team's success proves that. This year's squad currently holds a 22-5 record overall and is ranked third in the latest national poll. His team is led by Williamsville native Mark Coppola and Casey Sheehan of Rochester. He's, he's one of the most athletic, most creative players with the ball in his hands uh, that I've ever seen. So uh, I think moving him off the ball um, just kind of fed into that and, and is really allowing him to flirt. It's the best guard play I've seen in a long time. Um, I've been involved with basketball for a long time, probably since the age of about seven or eight, and I can't think of a more dynamic guard duo than Capola and Sheehan. And then you bring along uh, Aaron Davis, who's an absolute wrecking ball on defense and can also knock down a long ball as well. And then you got J.O., who's coming in to his own as a sophomore. Uh, Sheehan, the five foot ten shooting guard, is as athletic as they come. The junior currently leads the team in scoring with 15.4 points per game while consistently creating for him and others en route to averaging over 90 points per game among the best at any level of basketball in the country. The athleticism of he and his teammates is what sets them apart, Sheehan said. The difference, I think, how athletic all of us are, really. I mean, we got Gerald who jumps out the gym, we have Kadeem, all of us, because we're all athletic, and that's just a great it's a step up from a lot of teams that we play this year. With Sheehan comes Coppola. The five foot seven point guard knows where his teammates are and never fails to find them. Yeah, Mark's a little gentle, you know. He uh, he makes us go. I mean, he, you know, he holds everybody accountable. As little as he is, as small as he is, he's a big heart, and uh, you know, he just makes us go. I mean, defensively, uh, he's a terrific on ball defender, and offensively, he pushes that ball up the floor uh, and gets people open. And, get some many positions. I can't say enough about Mark. You know, he's a bulldog. He's fearless. Um, he's 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 our, the leader of our team. Um, he's vocal when he has to be, but not necessarily all the time. Um, he really sets the tone for our team uh, with his play. Aaron Davis of Tonawanda and Jordan Green of Fort Edward, New York, are two lethal scorers that can come off the bench for Silveri and not miss a beat. They also have a strong front court, which makes them a dual threat team. The starting combination of sophomore Gerald Beverly, junior Kadeem Johnson, and senior Jim Regan all average in double figures. Regan, the lone senior, can get it done inside and outside. Johnson, at an undersized six foot three, plays as big as anyone on the floor, averaging just under seven rebounds per game. And Beverly, the freakishly athletic six seven sophomore, has become a monster inside transforming his game tremendously in just one year. Through all of this, one word is consistent throughout the, the Damon Wildcats locker room, unselfishness. The Wildcats average 21 assists per game, and everyone gets involved. Everyone loves us unselfish. That's the beauty of this team. Like, there's just no one person that's going to say, like, give me the ball and just take a one-on-one. -on -one. Like, we play as a team, and we just evenly distribute, and everyone, everyone gets the selfish. So... No, no one's going to go out, just go for their points. Everyone's making an extra pass, and uh, everyone's uh, doing their uh, points. You know, it's just we have the red guys in, you know, on the team. Uh, we really share the basketball. You know, our guards are, you know, between the two of them, Casey and Mark, are averaging over uh, you know, around 11 assists a game, which is really good. Even through the offensive accolades, the Wildcats' number one priority remains defense. Many of their baskets come in transition and are caused by high pressure defense. We take part of our defense, you know, turning teams over, boxing out, getting rebounds, and then, you know, like the coaches want, just go, you know, get the ball to Mark Casey, which are one of the fastest point guards I've ever played with or, you know, even seen. Silveri has won over 500 games throughout his career while spending 24 seasons at Damon. His mock turtleneck attire patterns himself after former NBA coach and friend. Stan Van Gundy. He is well respected by everyone within the Damon community and the entire area. He even has an Italian pasta dish named after him at the Mulberry, a local restaurant in western New York. But most importantly, his players and coaches love being around him and learn from him every day. I mean, I love it. Our three coaches couldn't ask for any more. Um, coach really, all, all three can help you during basketball, outside of basketball. 
So the experience it's been great. It's been more than I could ask for or even dream of. Um, like I had a relationship with Mike previously. He actually coached me at the University of Great Falls, so that's where we kind of hooked up and connected there. Don, on the other hand, I came in cold, didn't know anything about him, and um, I couldn't ask for a better mentor, so to say. Um, he's really shown me a lot of things, along with Mike, that's uh, helped me progress in the coaching field, which is something that I want to be in for a while. Too. Damon is currently in year one of the transition process from the NAIA to NCAA Division II and, in result, joined the USCAA for this year in order to compete in the postseason. Damon isn't necessarily the most recognized basketball team in the area, oftentimes taking a back seat to the Big Four. But with all the recent success and the NCAA name, the 2000 student college and athletic program are hopeful that will change. I think we're in a really good place with our program. Um, the NCAA Division II transition, um, you know, I think that NCAA label um, with it will bring a little bit more notoriety. You know, I'm not sure a lot of people really understand what the NAI is um, and what it's all about. And now that we're progressing from that level um, to the NCAA Division II level, which really, to be quite honest, is it's not as big a, of a step competition-wise as, as people. It's quite the small enrollment here at Damon College. Coach Silveria has consistently put together winning programs. The Wildcats are currently sit at 22-5 and five in the year and have won 20 games in 7 of the last 11 seasons. If all goes to plan, the Wildcats can pick up their 100th win in the last 5 seasons with a USCAA National Championship on March 2nd. Here in Amherst, New York, for Queen City Sports, I'm Jonathan Snyder.